Thank you very much, Ivan. Um, yeah, thanks everybody, and that was a, a very interesting talk there regarding uh, recruitment and upskilling. De definitely something I, I can uh, uh, relate to in my own experience as well, and then in other things I'm involved in as well. So uh, th th thank you very much for that. Uh, so just, I suppose, to start off, uh, do, do, uh, sorry, my, uh, can we move the screen off the presentation? Or? There, thank you very much. Uh, so just to start off, what I'm going to present on today, uh, I suppose, as, as a, a theme is kind of a digital roadmap for Ireland's construction industry. Um, and a, a kind of subtopic of that is an architectural approach to construction. Given my own background, my own industry involvement, um, that, that, that's what I want to convey today. Um, so we all know that we have these issues in the industry. They've been spoken about extensively today. Uh, we can see the type of activities, how they're being addressed, and we know it's impacting uh, the construction industry, you know, and, and within the kind of subsectors within construction design and construction uh, and various different supply chain, sub supply chain elements. So we know that this is a problem uh, within the industry and, and we understand how it's being addressed and, and certain other uh, activities that need to address it as well. But Kind of for, for, for my talk, I want to just give you a little kind of fresh thinking. Uh, and I'm going to slightly introduce maybe another problem that we need to address as well. And again, in the context of, of cost of, of, of materials for construction, we all know and are very aware. So I want to introduce maybe another slight problem that while we're in the process of solving these, uh, I want to present something else that, that, that we can kind of bring into the mix and potentially bring a pair of fresh eyes and some fresh thinking in the industry for both construction, both design, and then even from, from the demand side, from the consumer of buildings in Ireland as well. So why else do we need a digital roadmap? We have obvious reasons. We need to get more efficient. We need to get closer to lean type processes. Uh, we need to build more houses. We need to drive down the cost of construction, uh, materials, and cost itself. But why else do we need a roadmap as well? So, Within uh, uh, some research I, I've looked at, uh, there's been research carried out in, 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 in Iceland uh, regarding uh, how the impact of our building designs can actually affect us. So we are actually uh, impacted by how our buildings, how our streetscapes, how our urban landscapes are, are, are um, impacting us uh, in terms of our, our psychological effect on our brain. And this has been measured uh, by, by lots of different research uh, across the world as well. So what we, we, we've, or what the research has shown is that varied facades in buildings actually give you quite a positive feeling. So that's a, it, it, it's a, a subconscious uh, emotion that you react. This has been, been measured many times with various different types of sensors, even if you don't realize it's happening, um, that we have this type of effect uh, that occurs when we see a varied type of facade, a varied type of streetscape as well. So this was carried out using virtual reality. Uh, the participants were basically shown different types of buildings, different types of streetscapes, and it was measured through various sensors uh, based on, 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 on their sweat glands and, and uh, on their brain as well, neurotype sensors, how they responded to how they saw those images and those buildings. There was also a live act of research as well where they round, walked around various streets and the buildings they experienced as they saw them, they measured how their body actually reacted to it as well. So you might say, how is this a construction-related problem? It's part design, part construction problem, but it's not, you know, it's certainly not a criticism of any design that is happening out there now, because the quality of design in Ireland is extremely high, the quality of construction is extremely high. All I'm trying to say is that we need to take a slight fresh thinking in how we view building design in Ireland. So we need to start looking at introducing more varied streetscapes in Ireland. I think we, we, we need to get closer to it as well. What the research also showed was that monotonous and repeatable and repetitive uh, housing and streetscapes actually has a negative effect um, on that part of our brain as well and on those uh, emotions and reactions uh, that they actually measured as well. So, so key to understand the positive and, and, and the negative impact that buildings actually have on us subconsciously, even if we don't realize it, even in this room today, uh, which is quite well designed, I have to say. So the problem then, I suppose what we're looking at is that multi-housing design, it can be uh, unexciting and repetitive. Uh, we see this in Ireland, we see it in UK, unfortunately, as well. Um, and why is that? I suppose, you know, the cost of bespoke design, it is expensive, fully appreciate that, um, and it is quite prohibitive. 
But with technology out there, we're able to have an impact on that kind of problem, why we're not to enable that as well. There is a huge demand for that type of bespoke design. There's no doubt about it. We can see that in the industry. We can see it through design and through construction as well. That does happen in Ireland in isolated kind of spots in terms of niche areas of the market that maybe uh, uh, happens in one-off housing, home extensions and that. So how do we solve this? I'm proposing that we use our existing bespoke Irish architecture, homegrown architecture, as well as international architecture. Um, and we use some of the technology that we have to improve collaboration, to be able to design on these buildings, uh, improve collaboration, improve the accuracy of our quantification, uh, the accuracy of our design, and then even on site for resolving issues. We need to use technology to enhance that and to, to, to potentially drive down the cost of those bespoke design. So what I'm proposing is that we, 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 we either look at 3D printed technology or off-site centralized production of these bespoke homes. So this is just kind of a screenshot I put together, taking multiple Irish home designs, or some UK ones, some US in there as well, looking at this as a streetscape in Ireland, something we could potentially have uh, in our housing schemes, and I'm not saying every housing scheme looks, needs to look exactly different uh, or entirely different to the rest of it, but I think it's some sort of variety that we need to introduce into our housing scheme in Ireland. Most of these companies, architect companies, bespoke companies are based in Ireland and they ha have an extremely high level of design quality as you can see by some of their uh, projects that, that are based up here. So the solution then that I'm proposing just to go into in a bit more detail is that we have a mixed housing st style on each streetscape. Uh, we have uh, you know, maybe three to six different house types on a streetscape instead of maybe the repetitive type of housecape or streetscape or house type that does tend to come in to certain housing schemes as well. We standardize those bespoke designs. So if it's a picture window, if it's a certain type of hangover we, or, or overhang of a roof, we standardize those type of details through offsite construction, through prefabrication, that we can repeat these bespoke designs throughout the country and even further afield as well, potentially. So if we mass produce them, it will drive, help drive costs down as well. Um, and also, you know, we could become a European centrally uh, produced prefabrication of these modular elements for bespoke designed homes that are produced at scale as well. So mass produced bespoke designs from award winning one off housing in Ireland is what I'm proposing and um, being able to produce them in either a European centrally uh, uh, based um, factory or produce them in Ireland. We have the skills, we have the technology um, and we certainly have the motivation and drive to, to produce that as well. Again, this is something that I would love to see uh, certainly within Irish streetscapes as well to bring that variety, to bring that type of different experience from what we see in current housing design. So what is it going to take? It's going to take earlier collaboration in the design process. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, that's between architects, structural engineers, mechanical producers, supply chain, everyone that's involved, estimators, surveyors, QSs, everybody that's involved in the process. So standardized pricing of repeatable modular elements. So we mass produce these bespoke elements and we use them on multiple different sites around Ireland and varying them in the various different housing schemes. So closer tracking of site costs as well is obviously important, and we have technology that can facilitate this for us. And also faster, uh, faster resolution of site issues as well. For whatever we're installing on site, those modular elements, those off-site elements, or if it's even 3D printing, like I saw some of the guys are doing outside with concrete 3D printing, we have that technology and capability in Ireland as well. We should be leveraging that to improve that type of housing design even when you look at the, the, the concrete uh, printing example they have outside there in the exhibition hall, doing things like curved corners, things that you just couldn't do in block work or timber frame material, uh, you can now do it with these type of technology. So we have it in Ireland and we have it available in Europe as well. So some of the solutions I suppose that, all, that, that uh, uh, Diatech as a company can provide in relation to some of those proposals I, I, I've suggested uh, is using something like Autodesk Construction Cloud. So this is a unified platform for design and construction project delivery. So that's for architects, engineers, designers to collaborate, for example. But it's also for construction companies, contractors, main contractors, subcontractors, 
to capture any information that they're, they're, they're installing on site, inspections, BCAR inspections, photographs, RFIs, checklists, all of that kind of information that's very important in the process. So streamlining that all within a single platform, the architects are working in the same platform, the design team is, and the construction company is as well. So you've got a very fast feedback loop happening there from site to design for RFIs, for any of that type of process that needs to happen in a project as well. So there's also other technologies like Autodesk BIM Collaborate Pro. Effectively what we can do with this, I've used this myself in practice, you can have two people working on the same 3D model or BIM model, if you're familiar with the terminology, two different 3D models, two different people, multiple people working on the same model, different parts of the world, different parts of the country, but they can simultaneously make changes to that model and they can sync them back up to a cloud location. And that technology is a well-established Autodesk technology that's been working for a long, long time and a lot of the, 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 our architectural customers, engineering firms are using this technology. Even some construction and contractor firms use this as well. So being able to make a change in a 3D model and immediately sync that to your design team or another consultant that you need to make, get that change to. So the technology is there to get, again, that fast feedback and design loop as well. We just need to really leverage it as well. Things like clash detection, so identifying issues before they get to site um, and giving you a fully uh, coordinated, prefabricated uh, type design model that you can share with the factory or the prefabrication company or whoever is producing that model as well. So all that coordination happening at early design stage is so important. The technology is there is what I'm trying to get across here as well. Other things like Autodesk Takeoff, being able to quantify from all of those 3D models so we can take quantities of floor materials, volume of concrete, uh, lengths of, of skirting board, uh, flooring, electrical sockets. We can quantify all of this inside the same platform, Autodesk Construction Cloud, from those design models that we are provided by architects. It all happens in the same platform. And that's the same model that will make it to the contractor and subcontractor on site or to the prefabrication companies or the 3D printing companies as well. And again, all of this then will integrate with the various uh, spreadsheet and, and, and database documents uh, and, and line, uh, line item type information still is part of that process. And then finally, just to touch on Autodesk Build, this is a site stage type software that can facilitate that RFI, that issue management, that progress tracking on site, things like barcoding items on site. When something arrives on site, we can scan it immediately, associated information, drawings, 3D models, checklists, BCAR inspection che checklists, photographs associated with a single element can be pulled up on a mobile device as well. And again, all of this is happening in that same uh, platform that the architect's working in, the engineer's working in, the contractor, subcontractors are all working in as well, and if the client is involved as well. And a key important part of this technology is that it's not only Autodesk based, it also integrates with various data analytic tools, which is extremely important in the industry. We're seeing a huge amount of things like BI type applications, uh, being able to feed in your RFI, your site issue management uh, type tools, all of that information being captured into dashboards and into, into uh, dashboards and analytical type tools to really leverage that efficiency and improve on what I'm proposing in, in terms to bring about a new type of fresh eyes to building design and housing design in Ireland. Thank you very much.